A very, very warm good evening, good morning, as per the time refers to, and greetings, very, very warm greetings, ladies and gentlemen. This is Annie Miraj Kedwai, and you're watching Vertex, the solution of every need. How is everyone? And how is everyone doing today? Today is Teacher's Day, September 5, 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish to all my fellow colleagues, juniors and seniors, everybody in this industry that a very, very warm Teacher's Day to all of you. We are in education and it is our responsibility that we also transform ourselves on a daily basis. We also need to upgrade and update ourselves on a daily basis, be it of any age group, you know, because as a teacher we hold a large and a very strong responsibility towards the future generations shaping them preparing them for the future and the most important characteristics in my view of a good teacher is number one they are passionate and loving towards the students whom they are teaching something they should have in-depth knowledge of their subject. They should research and model a behavior which they want the, the students and the other people in this field to follow. For example, if you want discipline, you need to be disciplined yourself. If you want somebody to be punctual to appear on time, you need to be punctual yourself. So we must model the righteous behavior that we expect from others and especially from our dear students. Of course, creativity, enthusiasm, softness and politeness in attitude towards your students is very important. We cannot raise our voice to get something done. We cannot scream and shout on our students at all. Because the psychology of a child is very fragile. It's like a blank slate, ladies and gentlemen. You can write whatever you want and your behavior will create a huge, huge impact on a child and the psychology of a child. So do remember that whenever you are entering in a classroom, whenever you are interacting with a student, you must be in a good mood, a stress-free mood because your behavior they will be modeling up. The way you react towards your students, they will be reacting in the same way. So if we will keep ourselves mentally healthy and emotionally balanced, we are able to raise the right psychology in our students as well. Competition is a good thing, but competition should always be a positive competition. It should not be uh, based on some sort of an insecurity. So be mindful of your words, the kind of vocabulary and statements you choose with the students so that um, they get the right information and right behavior. All students are equal for us and we do not need to have favorite students. If we are doing favoritism amongst the group of students, we are being discriminatory. So I also believe that my all students are equal, but they have unique personalities. Someone has a different skill, someone has a different quality, right? As all the five fingers in our hands are not equal to one another, so we can also not compare our students from one another. So this is my take uh, on this and this is how I am celebrating by improving myself, reading more books and um, sharing the beautiful feeling of this profession with my peers, with my students. And I thank to all my lovely cutie students out there of sending me such beautiful messages and cards. I really appreciate all of you from the bottom of my heart from, uh, you know, from um, a age of four, five to uh, whoever I have trained, I have taught, you all are dear to me and I appreciate each one of you deeply. Thank you so much and uh, I hope together we'll bring 
more beautiful and uh, outstanding results and outcomes in the future. Have a great day and enjoy your day.